everyone and welcome back to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man, your source for entertainment. And on today's video, we're talking about developer options. Where did they go? They were here one moment and gone the next. Well, the reason why you guys don't see developer options anymore is because of a brand new software update that Amazon has launched. Some of your Fire TV devices have already received this uh, brand new update automatically. Some of you have done it manually. Nonetheless, developer options used to be there by default and now they're not. Now, they're not gone, they've just been hidden. So today I am going to show you how to bring back the developer options. Now, I'm going to show you from the very beginning how it was there, how I'm gonna do a software update, it disappears, and how to bring it back. I'm gonna show you the whole process. And this is a brand new 4K Max, but it will work on any Fire TV or Fire Stick that you have at home. So just follow along. If you also wanna know how to do a software update, follow along, you can just do it exactly with me, and then bring developer options back. For those of you that are not interested in seeing the update part of this, all you have to do is click on this link right here and it'll take you to a DFM TV quick tip video that's just going to show you how to bring back developer options. I only have one shot at this in this video, guys, so if you see any bloopers that I can't fix with the editing, it is what it is because once I do an update, I cannot go back to repeat the video, so I hope everything goes well. And again, I will be fast forwarding through the actual updated part of it for the sake of time. So what I want you to do, you can follow along, is I want you to go ahead and hit the home button on your remote, and then I want you to go to the right to settings. Settings is right here, and then you're going to go down and you're going to click on My Fire TV. Once you're there, notice the developer options is currently available there as an option for us to click on. So we're just going to leave it like that. Now we're going to go ahead and click on about, okay? And I'm going to go down to where it says install update. Again, this is a brand new Fire Stick, so I just unbox it so they have updates to do. For some of you, are that's going to say check for updates. Either way, click on it and there's a new update, it will download it. But I'm going to go ahead and on this part of the video, I am going to fast forward as much as I can um, so, so you can see how the updates click in. Okay, so now I did all the updates on this Fire Stick. It took about three or four, so I just skipped right through them. And since it, the last thing it did was a reset, it brought me back to the home screen. So let's look to see where we're at. And let's go to settings, and we're going to go down to My Fire TV. Notice the developer options is no longer available here. Okay, developer options is no longer available. I'm going to go ahead and click on about, and I'm gonna go down and click on check for updates. And that's exactly what it needs to say. It needs to say your Fire TV is up to date. So again, you may have two, three, four updates to do to catch up. Some of you may only need one. Um, it may restart your Fire Stick and then install the update. Uh, but you want to keep keep repeating that process until you see your Fire TV is up to date. And once it's, it's done, then I'm going to show you how to bring back developer options, which I'm going to do that right now. But I'm going to start it from the very beginning, starting from the home button. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the right, to settings. We're going to go down to My Fire TV. Click on My Fire TV. And again, you see the developer options is not there, so now let's bring it back. You're going to go ahead and click on About. And once you click on About, you're going to be highlighted right over where it says Fire TV Stick 4K Max or Fire TV Stick, depending on which one you have. But here, you're going to hit the center of the circle, and here's the center of the circle right here. You're going to tap that seven times. And as you're doing it, I want you to look at the bottom of the screen. Because on the seventh time, it's going to bring back developer options. So let's do it right now. We're going to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven times. It says no need. You already have uh, already a developer. Now, if we hit the back button, and here's the back button right here, this curvy arrow. Hit it one time, and notice developer options is right where it needs to be. So now I can go ahead and go to it, click on it, and you'll have ADB debugging and install unknown apps. And depending on your Fire Stick, it may say something else. Uh, apps from unknown sources or something like that but there you have it guys that's how to bring back developer options onto your settings and if you guys have any questions or you have any issues or you couldn't get it to work don't hesitate to leave it in the comments below and i will go ahead and help you out best i can but also let us know what type of fire stick you currently have is it the 4k is it the second generation and did it work for you love to hear it in the meantime 
You have been watching DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man, your source for entertainment. And until the next video, happy streaming.